completing the square method. To solve this problem using completing the square method, step number one, divide the equation with the coefficient of x square. The coefficient of x square is two. Step number two, take the constant across the equal sign. You can see when plus three moves to the other side, it becomes minus three. Step number three. Complete the square by multiplying the coefficient of x by half and squared. That is seven over two multiply one over two, then you square both. This is completing the square. Step number four, add the completed square to both sides of the equation. Now I will add seven over four, seven over four squared on both sides. Step number five. The value with the square here, which is x, and the value with the square, which is seven over four, I will put both together and I'm going to square them. If you expand this bracket, you will get all this back. And on the other side, I'm going to get 7 squared over 4 squared minus 3. And we got here 49 over 16 minus 3. Here we got over 1. This multiply by this. We are going to get 49 minus this multiply by this. We are going to get 48 and this multiply by this everything will be 16 next is going to be this 7 over 4 is equal to if this square moves to the other side it becomes a plus or minus square root of this minus this is 1 over 16 next this will move over to the other side so that we isolate x. If the plus moves to the other side, it becomes a minus. Here, one of the answers is going to be a plus and the other one will be a minus. Hence, this is a plus and this will take the minus. And this will give you minus 3 over 2 and this will give you minus 2 hence this is our answer and this is our answer in this problem the coefficient of x square here is already 1 hence I will move to step 2 by taking the constant across next I will take the coefficient of x which is 6 I will multiply by half then I will square both this is completing the square next I will add the completed square to both sides of the equation hence I will have 3 square on this side and 3 square on this side. Next, x is having square here. I'll bring x out and 3 got square as well. I will put a plus in between both of them and I will square. I didn't mean one of these got a negative. Then this would have been a negative. On the other side, 3 square is 9 minus 2.
if you take off the square on the other side is going to be plus or minus square root of 7. Next, isolate x and 3 will move to the other side and become minus 3. This is plus or minus square root of 7. Next, our answer becomes 1 we're going to have a plus and the other one a minus. And this becomes our answer. Pause the video and try this out. I will see you in the next video.